Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you how I made this watercolor illustration. It was supposed to be a bright spring scene of us, so me and Kana, walking around Tokyo. The first step in the process was making a sketch in Procreate. I prefer sketching in Procreate because I can move things around, I can add details, I can remove things, I can use layers while maintaining this feeling of drawing on paper because I'm using iPad and the Apple Pencil, which is the closest to drawing on paper that I got while drawing digitally. Also, I can give the file to Kana so she can help me a little bit with the design of the characters. Thanks, Kana! Yay. When I had the digital sketch ready, I started to trace the lines with a pencil I used here, the Mitsubishi High Uni pencils, to the watercolor paper I was going to use for this painting. I'm also trying to add details while I'm doing the lines. I'm using the pressure, so the line variation I can get from a pencil to add some feeling to the lines. And also I'm using the hardness of the pencil, so I'm trying to use harder pencils for things that are in the background, so further away, and more softer pencils up until 5B for the things that are in the foreground, so for the characters. I have to be really careful not to smudge the lines with my hand, so I prefer going from the left to the right and from the harder pencil to the softer one at the end. Also using more softer pencils for this, for example 8B or 9B would be difficult because after applying the watercolor on top of it, the graphite from the paper would bleed into the watercolors and mix and make the washes grey and dull. Okay, so this is how the finished lines look like. Before starting with the watercolors, I scanned the lines once with 600 dpi and then transferred the file to my iPad again to have a test of the colors in Procreate to decide the lighting and the shadows and decide the colors of the characters because even though they were featured in the book, the clothes here are different. When I was satisfied with the colors, with the look of the color rough, I started to paint with the watercolors. Okay, so I'll tell you a little bit about the painting itself. This is a thing that was commissioned by the publisher of the Tokyo Storyfronts book. Those of you who bought the book, you can see that these are the same characters, so me and my wife Kana, in our dog forms, and these characters were featured in the book. Because the book is still selling strong in Japan and outside of Japan also, thank you, the publisher decided to make a small push in the spring after it's got a bit warmer so a lot of people would like to use the book as a guide to walk around Tokyo and to see the sakuras and to see the shops that I featured in the book uh, they decided to make a promotional campaign and this is an illustration for this campaign that will be used for all kinds of promotional materials and all kinds of postcards and posters and stands and things that I'm even not aware of so I did this painting and Kana did some lettering and I did some sakura petals that were featured in the beginning of this video but also will be used in the promotional printed materials. This painting was really fun to do. It was more light than the stuff I'm doing right now because I'm still doing the Tokyo at Night series illustrations which require a lot of work and concentration to do. I was glad to revisit the pencil and watercolors work method that I used for my illustration series and for my comic. So I had actually a lot of fun and because of the color sketch and the test procreate sketch I did not have anything to worry about, just have fun coloring this piece in. Also because I already had the sakura petals in Photoshop and no background form because this is what was needed for the print materials. I decided to use the Apple Motion program, which I use together with Final Cut to edit my videos lately, to do a nice falling petals intro. Okay, this is how the painting looks like after being scanned and edited in Photoshop. I hope you will take the Tokyo Storyfronts book with you on a tour when it finally gets warm. Okay, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. As always, feel free to share, comment and subscribe, and you can also support me on Patreon. Your support there allows me to do projects like this. See you in the next video. Bye.